This video is freeware, so you can use it as you wish. Gaddafi arrested. Yahoo! Weapon, there's a counter weapon, and it's the combining of these arms and the right kind of organization to get the maximum effect. But there is no single weapon that does damage to the point of excluding all the others. Uh, on occasion, it would appear that there is a silver bullet, a magic weapon system that will solve all of your problems. What's the shelf life of that magic bullet? <laughs> Yeah. Any other thoughts? I, I would just add one concluding point here, and that is the change that occurs in military culture. Uh, particularly within the Israeli army, the Israeli army is going to be used again uh, in, since 1973 in Operation Peace for Galilee, uh, where they go in uh, to attempt to eliminate the Palestinian Liberation Organization and also Syrian presence uh, in Lebanon. Uh, what did the Israeli army then learn from the 1973 war? Uh, we've talked about the influence uh, that this had on the United States. This was this was dramatic change uh, with Depew and the Depew Doctrine, but that's an outside power looking at a war in another continent. Here is a, a, an army that has just fought uh, the Egyptians and saw their ability to change and adapt very quickly from the 67 conflict. How then did the Israelis change and adapt, or did they? And then what was public opinion's view of this war? Or in Israel, because public opinion is going to change, uh, as opposed to previous conflicts. In fact, public opinion has become less supportive of political objectives. And then what is the impact of public opinion upon future Israeli conflicts? This is something that military commanders, I think, uh, planners and executors must be cognizant of, because it plays so much impact upon morale of the force, uh, and also how that force will be trained, educated, and implemented, and even equipped in the future, uh, and something that maybe your students may want to pursue. One uh, final things that you, uh, several maybe final things you might consider. One is if you look at the Arab-Israeli wars overall, each war is different, but the participants are roughly the same. And many of them have seen various wars. Perhaps one important lesson to be drawn is that it's difficult, virtually impossible, to predict what kind of war you're going to fight. And perhaps the best thing to do is, when you think of a concept like Force 21, is to have flexible response in there to fight different kinds of wars. 48 was a war of independence for Israelis. Uh, it was a levy en masse. 56 found them with allies fighting against only Egypt with France and Britain helping Israel. 67 is a kind of blitzkrieg. 73 is long by their standards, but it's a conventional war. 82 is kind of like a Vietnam for the Israelis. And then they end up fighting on the streets of Watts, I could say, but on the streets of Hebron, a different kind of conflict altogether. For each one, they seem to be caught off a little bit. The question is to be able to adjust. So to create a mindset that do not prepare yourself for only one kind of war where your weapons will be used to the maximum on the battlefield. Uh, and one other thought that you might consider is that uh, when we were a small nation, um, like in the uh, period of the Crimean War, we were smart enough to send it, uh, lookouts, observers to other parts of the world to learn from other parts of the world how warfare was conducted. That was the mission of Emory Upton in the 19th century. Go abroad, my son, and learn from others. Because you're a superpower doesn't mean that you cannot learn from others. So I think you should pump up your students the week before or the lesson before of the importance of looking at other parts of the world and the lessons that can be drawn by studying warfare as it's conducted elsewhere. Because it helps us to get outside of our own narrow parameters of looking at the world and what is war, what is universal about war, or what is very American about war. So really pump them up because this is a very rich lesson we find at the CGSC in the electives, in the core course. There's a lot of discussion. Two hours are often not enough time to cover all the things that have to be and leave the officers with a mindset we could learn from other parts of the world and wars which do not involve us directly about the nature of war. Thank you very much. It was fun. I hope you enjoyed it too.
Super Hats also. Info Evidence, 24th April 2005. After the first and the second contact. See, impossible, these videos. Only 22 days passed. And then, 